Hey folks, the most useful add-on for a MIDI keyboard is a sustain pedal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a custom sustain pedal that's functional, budget-friendly, and fun to make. And it even looks like a race car. Let's get started. So how does a sustain pedal work? Well, as it turns out, it's pretty simple. Most sustain pedals are just switches. When you press the pedal, it completes the circuit and your MIDI keyboard interprets that as keep the notes held. To demonstrate this, we can use a quarter inch cable and connect the tip and sleeve using a wire. When the connection is made, the keyboard sends a value of 127 to MIDI CC64, sustaining the notes. When I break the circuit, a value of zero is sent and the sustaining stops. This is exactly what happens inside of a sustain pedal. A button or switch completes the circuit when pressed and opens it when released. For this build, we'll need a button, a mono audio jack, some wires, and an enclosure to put it all in. If you're planning on building this, I recommend using a less clicky button, but I'm in it for the aesthetics. For tools, I'll be using a drill with a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter bit and a 30 millimeter Forstner bit. These things are perfect for making arcade buttonholes. And finally, we'll finish it up with a bit of light soldering to make our connections. For this section of making the enclosure, I got some filming assistance from Hannah. At this point, I only had a rough idea of what I wanted to make, so I cut a bunch of shapes in various angles and lengths. <laughs> Alright, let's freeze it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Bye. Here's what I came up with, and I'm so pleased with how this little thing turned out, even though it kind of looks like a Pinewood Derby car. The challenge was drilling deep enough for the components to fit without piercing through the board. In fact, this 3 4 inch board was too thin to house the audio jack, so I had to file it down. Side note, did you know that you can sand down metal? I had to remove one of the lugs, but we can solder our connection to the input arm since they're connected to the same point. Next, I fed the wires through the box and connected the spade connectors to the button. Then I trimmed the wires and attached the audio jack. Now we can check for continuity and when we press the button, we should hear a beep. And there we have it, a simple little derby car, I mean a sustain pedal. Let's see how it works. When I plug the pedal in, you can see the keyboard detects a switch. Pressing the button registers a value of 127 and releasing it registers a value of zero. Now when comparing this with my Yamaha pedal, I notice something and see if you can spot it. The MIDI values are reversed. The circuit in the Yamaha pedal is connected by default and broken when the pedal is engaged. This is the opposite of a standard button. For a second, I thought I'd messed up, but after doing some research, I discovered that sustain pedals operate differently depending on the manufacturer. It's referred to as the polarity of the sustain pedal. If the pedal is normally open, the signal is off by default and turns on when the pedal is pressed. Normally closed, the signal is on by default and turns off when the pedal is pressed. Most modern MIDI keyboards work with either type, but normally open is more common. The more you know. Here's our pedal in action. So here's a quick recap of what went right and what I do differently next time. First of all, I feel like the enclosure turned out great. I'm, I think if I was trying to build this again, I would probably break it nine times out of 10. So there was definitely some beginner's luck going on. And also it functions exactly as intended. What I would do differently next time is obviously use a bigger piece of wood, probably a less clicky button. And I'd spend a little more time in the planning phase, measuring things out as opposed to just like hacking and slashing things until it landed on what it is now. All in all, I'm pleased with it. And you know, every time you do a project like this, you sort of, you pick up or refine your skills. By the time Hannah enters her first Pinewood Derby race, we're gonna kill it. And that's it. A fully functional sustain pedal made from a chunk of wood and a button. Now our keyboard is complete. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this project and what you'd like to see next and feed the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.